Hi, this is Jan, and uh, now today our lesson is to remove this filter in the plastic box because let's say this filter has full of ink already and the ink dried out because you never clean it every night. So what happened there? But this this one is okay, okay. But what we're gonna do right now is how to remove the the filter, this filter on the top. So all you have to do is use this cutter. You have a cutter, okay. So I'll show you how to remove this. So just do this done. Then put it here, okay? Then after that, just pop it out. Let's take, let's take this. Okay? Go there. You see that? So it's popping out. Okay? Then there's a... And see, it moves. You can hold it if you want to. And pull it out. See? You removed the, already the filter. So after you remove the filter, there's another one here. You remove this one too, this uh, metal. Okay, use this one to pop it up. Okay, so you remove it. After that, all you have to do is flat these things. I think it's flat already. There's no pointy here. That will touch the, the print head. And after that, you can put these things back if you want to. Oh no, it's not. So the reason of doing this is so that, uh, because this one, you see this one? This is all clogged already with the dried ink. So this is dr the clogged already with the dried ink. So this one, you open it, so that when the when the printer go there to spray, uh, it will just uh, go directly there. This is like a panel, okay? There's nothing important there. So the only thing is this one. So this needs to be replaced all the time. But what we're gonna do because two days this one is full of ink because it's we we print a lot, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we remove it and replace it with uh, ordinary foam, okay? So I'll get an ordinary foam. Stand it there. So if you have a foam like this, this is a foam, okay? Or you can get a new one. Then all you have to do is cut a very thin one, like maybe one fourth of the size. Cut like this. You ready? Okay, cut this one. See, you have the foam already. The thinning. Then you just make sure it how big is that? Yeah, okay. So use the use the old one here. Then you cut it like this. Okay. Now you have the foam. You can go there. You can use maybe the the what we call this the scissors to make it better because my cut is not good. Okay, go get the scissors. Hold on. Okay, now we got the scissors, so we can just cut it like this. Now this foam becomes now uh, like a removable. So every night you can just now remove it, put it back there. Okay, that's how it looks now. So that one will catch the, the ink. So that when the when the printer sprays there, then in the night you can remove it, wash it, and replace it again. So you don't need to buy a plastic box. Okay, put it back there.
because this one will just catch the it will just catch the the ink that was sprayed all right so you know how to do it okay thank you